I'm back with another video today and for this video I thought I would do my September favourites now I realise I'm slightly late with this one but I've just had so much going on I believe a video of mine went up a few days ago which should have been the September favourites but I didn't film that, I filmed the other one instead so sorry about the fact that it's a bit late but I thought you might be interested in seeing some of these things I mean I've not really, it's not really beauty related, well I'm not saying that, there is quite a few beauty related items here but there's a few other things that I just feel like I should have spoke about a long time ago but I haven't so I thought I would mention those now so again apologies it's late but it's only been a week since it was October so it's not that late so I'll start with the beauty related stuff because for some that might be the most interesting as I mentioned probably before I think I have I kind of find it difficult to find mascaras that I like. Um, I don't really feel like a lot of them do much to my lashes. I kind of have regular, regular lashes. But I want something that elongates them but also doesn't just make them stick straight because a lot of mascaras do that for me. And this one is, let me just get on with the product. So this is the YSL Baby Doll Mascara. It's not new in any way. But I got this when it was new. This was, I went and purchased it. It's so actually my first YSL item I think ever um, and I purchased it, I used it and I hated it. I just thought my lashes look spidery, like spider web kind of, they just weren't great and it was flaky and I don't know what, what I was doing wrong then but for some reason a few weeks ago I decided to just try it again and I actually really love it. I've been using it as I said for a few weeks now. And it just makes my lashes so long and voluminous. I mean, baby doll, maybe not. My lashes don't look that big or great, but I just I've just been really enjoying this. It's kind of replaced um the L'Oreal Miss Manga mascara for me, which I was really enjoying for a long time, but now it's this, and I just can't believe it's just been stuck in my makeup drawers for this long. Me thinking I hated it, but for some reason now I like it, so that is the first favourite. The next favourite is a lip, I'll just do two lip products, there's two lip products. So I'll start with the lip balm. So it is the Corez lip balm in, lip butter in Jasmine. So this is the pale pink one. And if you open it up inside, it is just a pale pink colour. And these smell like, if you've had Worthy's original butter sweets before, or just butter in general. It just smells like sweet butter. Um, and I just put this on my lips before applying any lip product now because it's not really thick and it's not really greasy either. It's just kind of a thin layer of film to just moisturise my lips. I don't use this one at night. I use the Nukes Rev de Meal one, which is also a favourite, but I just didn't include it because I thought I was already including this one. But yeah, so this is more for an everyday kind of use. And then with that, I've been really enjoying this Chanel lipstick. I think I showed this in my last haul, not the one that's just been the previous one, which was a while ago now, and it was a Paris haul, I believe. And I picked this up, and since then, I've been really enjoying it. And it is the Rouge Coco Shine in number 54 Boy, and it is My Eyes The Perfect Nude. So I've actually done a blog post on this, which I will link below for you all. I'm um, just talking about nude lips, basically. This one's included in there. So it is just, as I said, a perfect nude. This is what I'm wearing on my lips now. And it's not really that noticeable, but it is something extra added to your lips, which I like. So this has been perfect for everyday wear, like going to work, etc. When you don't want a really standout, bold lip, then just go with this. So yeah, and the formula's great. The next beauty items are both nail polishes and they're kind of like cheap as chips nail polishes which normally I wouldn't choose because I wouldn't think they'd be great but I really like Essie nail polishes but they're so expensive and you can't, I can't pay £8 per nail polish it just pains me every time I do that and I saw a couple of colours that I really liked but I didn't want to buy them in Essie and then I just I just stumbled across these and I thought they would work and they've actually been okay quality and they are by NYC. Um, you've probably all heard of it. You can get these in Superdrug and possibly Boots maybe. 
Um, and they're just, I think they're like £1.70 each or something, they're not. And then I got these in a deal as well, where they will buy one and get one free or something, so it was even cheaper. Um, but basically it's just like, kind of a mauve grey, purpley colour, and then a purpley mauve colour. So, they're quite similar in the spectrum of like, shade, both purpley shades. But I thought they'd be great for autumn, and I'm actually wearing one of them now. I'm wearing this purple shade on my nails now. I'm not sure how well you can see that. But yes, yeah, so I'm wearing that one, and it's called Palma Violet, which I would probably call that one Palma Violet, but instead, nope, this one is called Palma Violet. And as I said, it's just a purpley shade, and I've really been enjoying this on my nails. And then the other one, which I haven't tried yet, but I'm assuming it's going to be like this one, which actually lasted quite a long time. And this one is called Velvet Chic. These names are so mixed up, I would just swap the names on both of these, they just don't match. But yeah, anyway, Velvet Chic, Parma Violet, NYC Nail Polishes. I think I might go and pick up a few more, because they are so cheap. So yeah, that's those. And then the final beauty item is a skincare item piece not piece product item yep yeah, skincare and it is you've probably all heard of this and it's the pixie glow tonic tonic water what is this my mind has just gone blank it is an exfoliator okay an exfoliating facial tonic there we go i picked this up when i went to london for fashion week and i just I wanted to try it for a while but it's so hard to get hold of and I didn't want to pay postage on the Pixie website so I just thought I'll wait till I go to London, I will go eventually and then I picked it up and I've been using this now, not for the whole month, I used it maybe for two weeks and I've seen quite a big difference in my skin, I had like bumps on my forehead and things which are kind of reducing and it just kind of makes your face feel fresher, I mean I don't really like the smell on it, I really don't like the smell, it's aloe vera and ginseng which not for me the smell at all but I can look past that because the product is good and I've written a full review of this on my blog which again I will link below for you all these will just be below if I have written a post about them so just check those out if you want to know a bit more but yeah so that is that I would recommend that now it's a book I think I'll go to there's a book and then there's a clothing item and then that's it for the favourites so the book is, again, one that you probably most of you have heard of now, um, and it is called Hashtag Girl Boss, and it is by Sophia Amoruso. I hope I'm not butchering her name, but I think it's Amoruso. And basically she is the founder of Nasty Gal, the online clothes website. And if, basically this book just kind of, I've not completely finished it, I'm actually not very far into the book at all. I'm on, where am I up to? I'm only on chapter 3 I believe, which is like only page 50 or something. But I am really enjoying it so far and I really wanted to include it because I thought I might forget about it next month. So I'll include it now because I am really enjoying it. And I'm sure I'm going to continue to enjoy the rest of it. So it basically, it's not about her life. or It's not like, well it is, but it isn't. It's kind of, if you wanted to be your own girl boss, I'd read this because it's great and it just kind of explains her story in a way and obviously I know the ending because it's nasty gal and I kind of know what happens but it doesn't really matter, it doesn't spoil it at all I just think it's a really great book and I would recommend this to everyone so the final favourite of this video is as I said a clothing item and if you read my blog you have probably seen this coat appearing on Pretty, so many posts, so many posts I've done wearing this coat, I need to just start wearing it. But it is this duster coat, and it's this kind of grey and black and creamy kind of, I don't really know what pattern you would call this, like, not check, but like fleck, maybe, I don't know. But it's just a standard duster coat, so it has the big lapels there, and then the buttons, and then it has these like, I don't really know what these are called, like flaps? air hole pockets like it has one at the back and then some at the front and then it is just quite a long duster coat and I've just been wearing this with everything it's the perfect transitional piece because it keeps you warm enough but it's not too warm so I've been wearing this on slightly hotter days if it's cooler I wouldn't wear it because 
I just don't think it would be warm enough but for the time being it has been my staple I have worn this so much since I got it and it was I didn't actually mention where it was from it is from Topshop I believe they still have this in the store now if they do I'll link it below if not I'll try and find something similar but a lot of shops are doing these just to style coats um, and I just think they're so versatile and I can see me having this for a good few years so yeah that is that. I will leave the link below to the blog post that I've been wearing this in as well so you can see it on. But yeah, so that is that. So there we go, that's all my favourites for the month of September. Again, I apologise this video was late but it's here now so yay! Um, so yeah, that is what I've been loving. Hopefully next month I will be loving even more things to show you and I'll hope the video will be on time. And I also plan on keeping my videos more regular now because I did have a couple of months break. I was just busy, as I explained in my previous video, I was just busy doing things. I'm interning now so I get back late and then it's just so dark and weekends have been crazy at the moment. But it's all quieting down now so hopefully I can film at least one video a week but preferably two. This week there will have been two videos, when you're watching this, this one will have gone up and a previous one will have gone up, so yay, that's two videos and hopefully that will continue on for the future, hopefully, fingers crossed. I am doing my blog still, so if I'm not on YouTube then you can catch me over on my blog as well and then everywhere else, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, everywhere, so yeah. So if you enjoyed this video then thumbs up and hit subscribe if you want to see any more videos from me. And if you do have any requests, then leave them below because I'm always open to video requests. And then I will see you in my next video. Bye!